Good day. Um, what I'm going to show you today is how you start using the wireframe application with voice command. Uh, there are different kinds of projects that you can create in terms of the templates that we have. We have blank, tabs, side menu, side menu tabs, and then a split pane project. A split pane is basically how this application looks like. It has two sections this left section and then also this working area so that's the kind of uh, project that it is a split pane so to do voice commands in the application itself you need to activate the kit so we click there to activate it so that the program will listen to your commands you see it has just typed in what we indicated So let's begin. We want to create a blank project. So the instruction or the command to create a blank project is create blank project. You see it has been marked green there because it was identified by the system itself. And then the ones that it does not identify, it marks as zero. It does not execute anything. So it has created a blank project now, and um, it's waiting for more commands for us in relation to what we can do in relation to the project itself. Um, let's say, for example, we wanted to select one of the components in the tree view here okay. so to select a component in the tree view here we use the command select component so as you can see select component is active but it doesn't know what to select so we need to specify what it needs to select so i'm going to say select command home Actually, it's not select command. <laughs> because it's a component, so we need to say select component home. Select component home. There we go. So the component is selected and active you know so when you are coding you just need to use the commands that are relevant to the application itself <laughs> but you will make a list in terms of which commands are supposed to be used by the application so we have selected the command and made it to be active so you can manipulate it and up, up, update the properties as you see fit So I'm going to execute another command. I need to refresh my screen. Refresh. As you can see, it's back to showing um, the application that we are wireframing. Assuming that we wanted to change the device that is showing here so what we basically need to do is to just select any of the devices that are here so for example i want to use the ipad mini and instead of just clicking ipad mini here i'm going to say ipad mini ipad mini you see so the wireframe application has changed now to show the iPad mini. You see the mouse didn't move because I didn't click on anything. iPhone X. Galaxy Note 8. iPhone 8. iPhone 8 Plus. iPhone 5S. 
iPhone 5C, iPhone 4S, Nexus 5, Nexus 5. Okay, as you can see, this thing is not um, trained, so we don't like, have like a model where we train it. So sometimes it does make mistakes, which means that we need to speak clearly. Nexus 5, Lumia 920, Galaxy S5, HTC one okay so here we go we've been able to display here in terms of how do you change the device so that you see your wireframe in different application so I want to close the devices um, accordion and open the the wizard accordion Wizard. Wizard. There we go. So it has activated the wizard. So as I was saying, let's change the device. iPhone 8 Plus. I kind of like using this one because it's a little bit bigger, you know. Um, okay. Now I want to check another project template tabs. Yeah. Let's first of all just clear everything that we have on the screen and start afresh. To do that, we are going to use the delete everything or delete all command. Delete everything. Yes. And then to close our window, we need to say no. No. Now we'll create another template of a project using tabs. Okay, just to recap, we explore devices. We also explored how to create uh, an app uh, using the blank project. So we're going to continue creating examples of our templates and I'll take you through them in terms of uh, you seeing in terms of how they look like. So um, let's activate the command kit again. So, um, I've cleared everything in relation to this wireframe. So, I can also run that command again, clear everything, uh, delete everything. Yes. No. I could remove the prompt, but sometimes you might run an accident of deleting everything by mistake. So it's important that we, we do that. Uh, that does not close uh, the confirmation dialog, even if you say yes. So to close the confirmation dialog, you just need to say no, and then it will close because it's expecting an actual click event from an activity that is done by the user. So that's why it does not close. So you saw a blank template, it just had a header and content. Now we're going to add tabs. Tabs sit at the bottom of your screen, uh, where for example, you can use it to navigate different pages. So we're going to create a project with different pages using the tab template. So to do that, we just call the command that says create tabs project create tabs project create tabs project there we go 
so it's creating a tabs project now I tend to think because I'm doing a recording, this thing is a little bit um, slow. There we go. So as you can see, our template has a header, a content, and then it has three tabs at the bottom, welcome, services, and contacts. And as you can see on the, on the, on the tree, the tree itself is split into the main content, which is the iron content, main page, which is a div, main page content, which is also another iron content, and then iron tabs, iron tab bar. The tab bar is where these tabs are sitting, and then uh, there are tab buttons inside there. This is a tab button, this is a tab button, this is a tab button, and these are the names of the tab buttons. Home tab button, service tab button, and conduct as tab buttons. And inside of these, there's an icon and a label. An icon and a label, icon and label, icon and label. So what it has done is to create a structure for us that meets our requirements in relation to what we need to do here. So there are a couple of pages here, home, services, and contact. And the hosting component is the iron tabs is which works like a rotor where you are able to move from one page to another using this and inside each of the pages you have different content you know a header a toolbar and things you know and different components so if you want to create a project without a menu but just tabs you can use this particular template to create the project so i'm going to delete everything again so that i can show you the side menu template delete everything delete everything yes No. Create menu project. Okay, this is a template then for our site menu. As you can see, there's a menu button here. If you click here, it activates the menu. The menu has three items, welcome, services, and contact us. And this is the same as the previous one that we did. However, we have a main menu that has been added now. And this main menu has its own header. And it has its own toolbar and a title, which is the title Ionic 7. And then the content, which is here, it has a list and a toggle item. The toggle item ensures that when you click each of the items in the menu, the menu is being closed. And then each item has an icon and a label. Like, for example, the home item, which is this one, it has an icon and a label. The service item, it has a services icon and label and things like that. So this part here from main menu down is for this part of the screen. And then the other parts of the screen are inside these pages. So the home, it has a page, a header, toolbar, buttons, and then uh, services, etc so we we'll look in terms of how to add content to the pages as we go on but for now i'm just explaining how to create the different types of project delete everything yes no Okay, now we need to create a project which is having both tabs and a menu.
the command is create menu tabs project. Create menu tabs project. Now, as you can see now, we have a menu and we have tabs, which basically means that if we click a menu here, we're able to navigate to these pages. And also, if we click any of these tab buttons here, we're able to navigate to those pages. And these pages are here, sitting in the tabs container. So there's home here, the services, this conduct. Of course, you can add more pages depending on your application. But I'm just explaining now how the app wizard works in relation to voice commands and how to create the various projects. Delete everything. Yes. No. The reason also that we're deleting everything is that so, so that things do not get overridden on top of each other because you can just work with one project at a time in this version of the wireframing application. So um, let's look at the split pane project. As I indicated earlier on, a split page project is one that works like this application. It has a split line, it has a left section and then the right section. So um, Create split project. Oh wow. Create split project. Create split project. I guess it's time also you get used to the finicates of this in relation to how you pronounce uh, your words, but um, at the end of the day, it just makes things better because you don't have to click or type anything at the moment. You can just use your voice to tell the application what to do and how to do it. Now, the split pane project doesn't have tabs. It just is a menu. Um, and then uh, when you run it in a PC, it will show like the application itself. So again, we have a hosting uh, component main page tabs that has our pages and then we have a main menu which is this one here and it has a header a toolbar and then the content and then there's a toggle items in each of these things so that is how uh, the the wizard works so um assuming that we wanted to download our wireframe as an image we can issue a command download frame okay this needs us to select the component first so select component main split download frame now it's executing the download and downloading our project or wireframe in JSON format so it basically means that you can get the contents of your project as a JSON string. This is linked to the custom views that I created. Now you can read this information here to see the styles, to see what has been specified in each of the components that are in your project. No. So, We've shown you how to download the wireframe into a JSON format because you can save your template and then uh, upload it next time you want to use it again. You know, so other functionalities within this will be explained as we go on. Um, like, for example, to download the guide. Download guide. 
So this activated the download of the guide. This the abstract designer guide is used where you want to create your wireframe into a, an application using the abstract designer. So this is a step-by-step -step instruction in terms of how do you use the library to create your components using the abstract designer. You follow this and then you can recreate what you see on this particular screen uh, using the abstract designer guide. So because we're not using any resources here, so there's nothing to show. Um, but one last thing that I also want to show you is just uh, opening the various sections within this navigation here. So as you can see, each of them have various names. So you can just use the name to open one section in another. But as you go on, you're going to be able to use voice command to add components to your wireframe. So if you want to activate devices, 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 pages, navigation, navigation layout router card card action Plugins, forms, typography, display, display. You see, we are able to activate the navigation that is here uh, in relation to our application. So We'll be able to add components directly to the wireframe via virus command soon. Uh, but so far, we just introduced you in terms of how you will work your way around the wireframe application so far using virus command. Now, as you can see, we selected a component and then you can also collapse and expand these items here by using the names. Collapse main menu. You see the main menu now is collapse. Expand main menu. Now it is expanded. Expand home. Collapse home header. Collapse home header. So you are able to execute some commands. Select component home. Select component home. That activates the component so that you can see the property back. So we are also going to add voice commands so that you can able to execute these commands that are here. So that it does things for you so uh, that's it for now um, in summary we have shown you how to create an application template using the various templates that we have from the app wizard we've also shown you how to open each of these various items in the accordion We've also shown you how to change the display of the device by calling each of the names that are here. And then we've also shown you how to collapse and expand each of the, any, the components that are here and then how to select each of them. Like for example, by using the command 
select component main menu for example it will select the main menu here but the kit should be activated for this thing to work and you can pause it at any time that you want to pause it but then the other functionalities will work as we go along for example if we wanted to activate any of these tabs here we call them by name and also these ones we call them by name for example project see it has changed the tab to be project archive archive this one is a little bit tricky <laughs> archive component 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 there we go resources properties three view three view sometimes it was tricky so i needed to i'll add the three view so that it tries and recognize it so uh for example also if you wanted to delete all resources if we had we'll just say delete resources yes no so that's it um continuing we'll be able to add uh, functionality to add the components to our wireframe in any component structure and also be able to execute the commands on, on, on updating deleting components and things but so far this is just the navigation of the wireframe application at its core in relation to how it works so um we just touch base in terms of how the overall look and feel works like uh, in terms of the outside the inside will be dealing with the components themselves in relation to how do you add a button how do you add a text box how do you add a toggle and a check box how do you add a card and things like that via virus command so we're going to be doing that soon uh, but this just takes us in relation to the structure of uh, the voice command functionality that we have now. Thank you.